So, Lori, what motivated you to join us? Personal reasons, professional reasons, both something else, what? Um, mostly personal reasons, um, but that kind of flows into professional because I'm my own boss. So my business depends on me. <laughs> and so I've, I've noticed that there's a lot of room for improvement in that area too. A lot of things that um, hold me back. And so I thought doing this for me personally would help my business and my profession and other people too. <laughs> and what is your profession? I'm a massage therapist and yoga okay. teacher. Okay. You probably said that, but I didn't remember it. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> but among personal reasons, wouldn't be just that I would think, just that you are the boss and you need to manage people and do whatever you need to do better there. But apparently you are riddled with chronic pain. Absolutely. Which is I more am. which is more important, your boss stuff or your pain stuff? My pain stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that would be okay. the personal stuff. <laughs> yes, right. I've been in pain. I can't remember a time when I didn't have pain. It's been since I was a young teenager, probably early middle school years, okay. probably maybe 13 years old, 12, 13 years old, as far back as I can remember. That's when I started seeing a chiropractor anyways, I believe. Okay. I'm, re I'm remembering... First of all, the only thing I know about you, Lori, is what I've read so far and in, in whatever we're going to pick up here in a, in a conversation. So it's not like I know your whole life and all that sure. stuff. So <laughs> some of the stuff I say is going to be guesswork, let's say, mm -hmm. um, informed guesswork, but guesswork nonetheless. <laughs> okay. Sure. One thing I, I, saw, I picked up, and I don't know if I'm accurate or not, you tell me, but when I was reading everything, and you were telling me about the tractor incident and Ben and the ribs and other stuff. And later on stuff about empath and things like that. Mm -hmm. What I picked up was the possibility that for whatever the reason you have developed the belief or part of your persona, et cetera, that you are responsible for other people. Does that fit? Now you're going to make me cry. <laughs> yes, that's very accurate. I'm a, I'm a huge caretaker. I, I take care of everybody except for myself. <laughs> All right. So I'm wondering, again, it's guesswork on my part, Lori, just taking the Ben incident and the ribs, et cetera, for the moment um, and isolating just that. I am guessing that somewhere in that tractor incident, you felt responsible for the accident itself in some fashion. Maybe you encouraged everybody to get on the tractor. Maybe you asked for something. Maybe you thought something, maybe whatever. As a result, Ben had a problem with his ribs. Okay. You pick it up as a sort of, I didn't do my job right. It's a punishment. I've got to carry on Ben's pain. That's a, that's a real guess. Okay. Am I on target anywhere? I'm, I'm not sure if I ever felt responsible for it, but I do feel like I left my little brother behind because I did like, <laughs> I, I feel like I didn't protect him. He wasn't hurt, but he witnessed a lot more than I witnessed because I ran and he was like left there, even though I now know that he was taken care of by my dad and my older brother, I left him there. Um, that's I, something. When you say I left him there, do you get an emotional spike? I, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Can you estimate a zero to 10 number for me for the spike? No, well, let's see. <laughs> um, I'm going to say probably about an eight, an eight. Or, or a 10. Or a 10, yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Now that happened decades ago, yes? 40, 40 years ago, actually. Yeah, all right, all right. Four decades ago, you're still carrying it around. It, I feel that, yes. Okay, all right. To me, that is a, that and things like that are likely contributors to the pain you're carrying around now. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And, and the good news is with our process, learning it well, you'll be able to go back, <clears throat> start shifting your response to those things. Mm -hmm. So they're not, I mean, right now I'm, I'm getting there sort of over the top, unnecessary excess, even though it's decades ago. And that's just one of many. <laughs> okay. Of many. Okay. Yeah. So let me explore something else. That how old were you when the Ben thing happened, the tractor thing? I, my mom said I was about six. About six. Okay. Um, I'm guessing somewhere in there that your mother, your father, your church, some something embedded in you that you have responsibility for everyone and everything. Maybe not with this particular incident, but I can maybe point out another incident that happened that that would make sense with. Okay. Absolutely. And I, I know exactly what it is. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, the, the overall thing here, Mm -hmm. is you will learn in this course to go back to these specific events in your life. Yes. Start collapsing them. And once you learn how to do this well, and it'll take you a while, okay? But mm -hmm. once you learn how to do this well. The tabletop legs thing. Say it again. That, that's the tabletop, table legs collapsing. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but once you learn how to do it well, and we'll go over some of that today. Okay. okay. But once you once you learn how to do it well, and it is a skill that you will develop. It isn't something you just read a couple of bullet points and you got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's it's a practice kind of thing. But once you've got that, you'll be able to go back and you won't forget those incidences. But the sting, all the it's your fault. It's you're responsible for. It. You've got to do this. You've got to do that. Da, da, da. You're carrying on other people's stuff. Mm -hmm. The reasons for that will fade. Okay. Okay. We'll fade. So <clears throat> you have read my book. Yes. I, the unseen therapist is yeah. I read it. And yes. Okay. The, now I have revised that book over time and the most recent revision was mm, two, three months ago. Is that the vision revision or version you've been reading or an earlier one? I, whichever one that I downloaded from your website, is the one that I read and it was a okay. PDF file. Yeah, but how long, how long ago? Just last Saturday, I wrote Oh, okay, it. okay, you, you've got the latest, you've got the yeah. latest, okay. In reading that book, near the end of it is something, a segment called the Personal Peace Procedure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I gather you've read that? Yes. And it said to make 30, 30, 30 or more events, you've got your list? Got it right here. This is I, had, I had this list before I even read your book, by the way. <laughs> okay. <I> added to it. <laughs> All right. But now, now let's get to a technical point that's going to be important. Pull out your list. Okay. okay. Your, and read me the first, read me wrote, what you wrote down for the first one. Um, the tractor accident. Those are the words, the tractor accident, nothing oh. else. It's okay. Tractor accident at Radix, which is their last name. Tractor accident at Radix was the first thing okay. that I. Now, I'm going to urge you to go through your list and revise it. Because okay. in, and this is a really important foundational piece for your education and all of this. Okay. It's important for your results and for everything. Um, in my book, when I talked about personal peace procedure. I also talked about specific events and yeah. I gave you a sentence. Do you recall that? When, like the, when this happened, I now feel this or something like that. Yeah, more okay. specific, more specifically. 
the moment when, and then you, whatever happened. And okay. I currently feel okay. whatever the emotion is about it. Okay? okay. We're not interested in what you felt 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. We're interested because we can't change that either. We can't change what happened and we can't sure. change what you felt about it then. What we can do and efficiently is change what you feel about it now. Okay. Okay. And that's what's important. That's what's important. Because that's the kind of thing that is starting to manifest itself in the way of pains and limits and all this other stuff in your life. All right. Now, let's take the tractor accident. And you gave me some specifics in it when you wrote it to me. But I, I want to take that tractor accident, use it as an example of how to make your list. Okay. okay. It wouldn't just be the tractor accident because that's not specific enough. Remember, we're looking, we want to reduce it down to specific events. And in that specific event, we want, we really want to find the emotional crescendo in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the event itself took some time. I mean, you got on the tractor, the tractor fell, it fell on Ben, uh, mm -hmm. you ran, your parents. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Yeah. So that's a specific series. <laughs> okay. It's not a specific event. All right. Sure. So let's do this together. I'm looking for the most, as far as you can remember, the most important emotional crescendo in that moment that still sticks with you. Is it seeing the tractor fall on Ben? Is it running? Is it, what is it? It was hearing him scream. Hearing him scream. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, there, there may be other important emotional pieces to all of that. Okay. But now let's work together on how to. Okay. <laughs> what is that? I just, I just, something else just popped into my head. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but it was one of those light bulb things. I have to write this down. Right, um, okay. Um, oh my gosh. This makes sense now. And I had, I had a friend whose truck fell on his chest and crushed him to death. And it just, I wonder, okay, I got this. <laughs> I'm <And> good. <laughs> was that prior to or after the tractor? It was, it was the, my friend, um, his truck fell on him on his chest. Um, that was about eight years ago. So I was already an adult. We went to massage school together and he left my house and it happened like right after he left my house. All right. Now, as an aside, the chances are your emotional response to that truck thing eight mm -hmm. years ago is stronger than it needs to be because it's still bouncing off of something not resolved clear back to Ben and maybe even before that. It absolutely is. Absolutely. Okay. So now let's go back to Ben and the tractor and, and let's put together a sentence that a, sen a specific event sentence for that. Okay. And so let me give it to you first and then we're, then we'll talk about it okay the moment when i heard ben's screams after the tractor accident and i still feel what emotion i currently feel what emotion about it okay you tell me that you feel in the emotion though okay so the moment when I heard Ben's screams. After the tractor accident. It, it's like, it's terrifying because I felt helpless. All right. All right. Now listen to your words. I currently feel terrified. I currently feel helpless. All right. Now you just, you just named two emotions and that's okay. To, uh, Typically, we're more efficient if we do one, but that's all right. That's all right. Terri to to terrified and helpless in this case are somewhat connected anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And 
I'm going to presume without putting you through it, that the zero to 10 number on that, as you remember it now, would be a 10. It was last weekend, but now it's simmered down. Because you've worked on it some? I worked on it last All Saturday. Right. And it was Oop. really bad last Saturday night. If you're, if, you're, if you're okay with it, I don't want to put you through unnecessary stuff. Mm -hmm. If you're okay, Lori, go ahead, close the eyes, run the movie and tell me what number you actually get to now. It's different now because now it's like I'm trying real hard to remember where before it just came automatically to me. When I did this last weekend, it was like real time. And now it's like I'm I'm trying harder to remember exactly. So well, it's not as intense. It's probably maybe a three on a scale from one to ten. Oh, okay. Like the the noise of the tractor running and him screaming is what what's resonating with me right now. All the other details are just kind of not really there anymore. Okay, so when you address this before you address the whole accident, there's nothing really wrong with that. It's just not yeah. as specific as it's not as efficient as you could be. And you will find in times when you do a generalized sort of yes. this event kind of this yes. several minute or hour or whatever event you may get great results but you may also stub your toe and wonder what happened because you didn't get efficient enough specific yes. enough okay yes. okay to understand but i'm wondering about this three because if i recall it right earlier we were you were talking about it and, you know i could i could see you react just with the mere recollection of it before I had you even go in and look at it. Uh -huh. you, you seem to be higher than a three. That's how it seemed to me. Or, or are you just normally animated? <laughs> I like to talk with my hands. <laughs> <I'm> dramatic. <laughs> um, no, sometimes I'm things just kind of pop into my head and I'm like, oh, like that. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I don't know, it might be a little bit higher, but I do know that a lot of the details like of me running and of that kind of stuff is not as as powerful of an emotional thing as it was last weekend when I did when I did this. Okay. So, and at, after you did this, your rib pain started to fade in my the next morning. The next morning when I woke up, it was gone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and I didn't even know about his ribs and his ch like his chest injuries until the next morning when I called my mom to tell her that my ribs didn't hurt anymore. And she's she's the one who told me what his injuries were. I really didn't know anything about them until after I did all of this stuff. Oh, okay. Well, it's in, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. But as far as you can remember. The rib thing started at or about the time of the accident with Ben. The rib thing, my my pain is like it shape shifts. <laughs> it just it, sometimes it's my neck and shoulder, sometimes it's my back. My foot, I my foot has been killing me for months now. Um, I my, I even went and got an X ray on it because I thought maybe I had fractured a metatarsal or something. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Um, so this rib pain kind of morphed into, um, it probably started in the beginning of November, mid-November, but I have pain all the time. I'm always in pain. It never goes away. It's always something. And if it's not my back or my foot, it's my neck or my shoulder or my something, you know, and so the, the rib pain itself happened when I had, I had to take three weeks off of work because I had a super bad flare of some sort and I couldn't even get out of bed. 
And this happened back in November. And I'm trying to think of what might have happened around that time, but I'm not quite sure. But I thought that I had like shingles or something, but I didn't. And the pain was so bad that I literally laid in bed and cried and I could barely even get up to walk to the bathroom. Okay. The pain in your neck and the various pains in your body, your foot, for example, yeah. um, the doctors can or cannot tell you why they they don't know why they've already done MRIs on me. They've done blood work. They've done x-rays. There's nothing wrong with me. All right. Your, your <laughs> foot, your, which foot is it right now? It's my left foot. It's your left foot. And where on your left foot does it hurt? It is on the pinky toe side, like right on the edge of the pinky toe side, like oh. mi in the middle of the foot on the, on the, on the little side. <laughs> okay. As you sit there right now, without moving your foot, without standing on your foot or anything else, is there a pain? And if so, give me a zero to 10 number. Right now? Yeah. There's not. But sometimes it's so bad that even when I'm laying in bed, it like, it's probably a 10 sometimes, but right now at this very moment, it's not doing anything. All right. Maybe because I haven't walked on it much today yet. Well, why don't you stand up, put a little pressure on it and tell me if that changes anything. Okay. It, oh yeah, <laughs> it does. I'm going to call this about a seven or eight. Okay. All right. Sit down. Just putting pressure on it is about a seven or eight. Okay. As you probably know by now from reading the, my book and The Unseen Therapist and so on, um, that a probable cause for that pain mm -hmm. is unresolved emotional issues. Okay. And of course, as time goes on through this course, you'll need to you'll need to identify those and collapse them, et cetera. But for the moment, for the moment, I want to try something. We're going to aim not necessarily at cause, specific cause. Mm -hmm. I want to aim at emotional cause in a more general sense. Okay. This is an experiment between you and I, okay. you and me, you and me. Okay. Okay. So we're going to bring in unseen therapists about this. If, if, first of all, before we do that, uh, um, the foot, let me have the foot is a seven or eight. What other pains do you have at the moment? And give me a zero to 10. Um, I have upper back pain and that is probably about a five. Okay. <laughs> and my low back is always sore. My low back is probably... Oh, I'd say about a six or a seven right now at this moment. Okay. What, what else? And I've been having a kink in my neck. That's not as bad today. I'd say that was probably a three. And I've been getting headaches lately, which I don't usually get headaches ever. I'm, I don't have one currently, but lately, yesterday I had one that was probably about a five or a six. Okay. So, All right. Just... All right. So let's do a little unseen therapist thing about that. Okay. And just so you know, what I'm going to do here is it's a little bit advanced over the beginning part of our course. Okay. It's a little bit advanced over and above the book, although the reading the book would certainly put you in this direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to see what happens. Okay. okay. <laughs> so if, if you would close your eyes, close your okay. eyes, take a nice, deep, relaxing breath. And uh, we're going to invite the unseen therapist. We do that just by simply recalling a, a loving moment. We're aligning ourselves with her pure love. And when you're there, just nod your head. All right, good, good. Now, what we want to do with unseen therapists listening, of course, 
is we want to make the assumption that a, a contributing cause, if not the cause of your various pains that you experience are emotional issues which you have not yet specifically identified and you can identify and, and deal with in this course. But for the moment, we want to look at it in a more general type way. So get the idea, Lori, that within your system are a lot of unresolved emotional issues. We talked earlier about maybe you're supposed to be responsible for things and everybody picks up guilts about this and angers about that and resentments here and you know, griefs and fears and all this stuff, helplessness, powerlessness and stuff we've, we've talked about before. Your version of that, um, of those, let's, let's make in our imagination within you, they ricochet around throughout your body. They bounce off your rib cage. They go up to your brain. They go over to your shoulder. They're down to your foot. They record, they're, they're, bouncing all over the place because they are unresolved and contributing, if not causing, a variety of pains. Mm -hmm. So in your imagination, there they are, like bullets ricocheting all over the place. In fact, let's do it this way, not bullets, cannonballs that go thud, 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 thud all over, okay? <laughs> all right. And then with unseen therapist's help, she enters in. She sends a nice cooling breeze into your system. It's love. The cannonballs see it, and even cannonballs cannot exist within all this love. And so the cannonballs don't do thuds like a th th thud, thud, thud. They turn into baseballs. And then they turn into golf balls, to marbles, to BBs, to grains of sand, to nothingness. Now let's repeat that again. All the emotions that you've picked up over all of your lifetime, ricochet back and forth, cannonballs, thud, 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 uh, unseen therapist breeze, love, resolution of all of the unresolved emotional turmoil. Baseballs, golf balls, marbles, BBs, grains of sand. In your own mind now, repeat that scenario. Another time, another time still if you want or more. Just keep going, repeating that until you've gone as far as you think you can go, whatever that is then just open your eyes and we'll talk. Okay. All right, now ch check out your foot. Is your foot still a seven or eight? No. <laughs> oh, estimate a number. Okay. I'll say it's probably more like a two. All right, now let me, let me, let me point something out to you. Oh. To, my, to my eyes anyway, you are putting more pressure on it now than you did originally. I am standing on my left foot and there's barely any pain. Okay, but you had to do something extra over and above what you did previously to get the two. Correct. Am I right? Yeah. First, when I only just put pressure on it, it was very painful. And now I'm standing just on my left foot and I'm feeling almost no pain at all. Okay, great. All right, now. Your upper back was a five. Maybe a one or a two. Okay, I also wanna point out 
that when you first did this, you weren't going through all of this to try to find it. Okay, you yeah. you did you did a little bit of that, but not much. The neck is like it's even more flexible now. There's no neck pain. All and right. My back, oh my gosh, <laughs> my low back is maybe a one or a two. All right. So it looks like we got somewhere, depending on what we're dealing with, somewhere between 80 and 100% resolute uh, relief, at least for now. Am I right? Yes, that is correct. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, something you really need to understand here as a student. We don't ever, ever want to be fooled by a temporary result. And yes. this may be a temporary result. However, mm -hmm even though it may be temporary, maybe not, we might've gotten lucky, okay? But even though it may be temporary, um, to me at least, there's a clear indication that the cause of those pains is emotional because that's all we aimed at. Yes. Now we didn't do it efficiently, we didn't get, in details, we didn't get into specific events, we didn't do a lot of things where you can really do it efficiently and really clean house. But what we did was reasonably dramatic, at least for now. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> how how are we doing, dear? <laughs> I'm not. I'm just kind of like I've been suffering with this pain. It's been so bad that I have actually been like taping putting kinesio tape on it and going to the chiropractor i got an x-ray on it it's been it's been very painful and it's i'm moving it around right now and i can barely feel anything it's well okay now yeah. again again we may have gotten lucky okay yeah and and hooray 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 that doesn't mean you shouldn't do the rest of this course I'm okay. going to. <laughs> <laughs> but there is some likelihood that those things will start appearing because the cause of them has been <coughs> has been addressed in a sort of a surface manner so far. Okay. Okay. Surface manner. <coughs> okay. Now let's go back a moment. Let's go to your list. The first one was the tractor incident. Yes. What's read the second? What read what you wrote down for the second one? Okay. Um, I didn't put it in your words, your right. sentence. Um, um, my three-wheeler accident at the cottage. All right. Now, once again. Oh, my gosh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Do I get to know what happened? Yes. Um, I was probably, let's see, I wrote down my age, about 10 or 11 years old. And we grew up in the woods. So we had four wheeler or three wheelers, snowmobiles, all that kind of stuff, motor, motorcycles. Um, and I was driving the three wheeler and I came around a corner and my back end hit like the rock or something. And I went flying over the handlebars and I can remember like it took me forever to hit the ground and I landed on my chest. I landed on my chest with my head back like this after flying probably about 30 feet through the air and chest ribs. <laughs> okay. Um, and I never, I didn't tell my mom about it because I was afraid they were going to take the three wheelers away from us. And I didn't want my brothers to be mad at me. <laughs> okay. So that's why well, I'm just thinking like how I fell was on my chest. It like knocked the wind out of me. Like I couldn't breathe. All right. Okay, good. Now let's take that incident and let's put it into the sentence. I want you to get the practice of that. Okay. So how would you do that sentence now? The, the moment when, then what, what are you going to see? You want to pick out the crescendo moment, the crescendo moment when you landed on your, when you first, um, hold on a minute. Yeah. Um, 
when you landed on your chest, when you first um, realized you were going over the handlebars? I mean, wh where's the crescendo moment? I think when I couldn't breathe, like I, I was pan, a pan, the panic because I couldn't breathe because the wind got knocked out of me was okay. like the, all right, the thing. <laughs> now with that, with that, do your best, you're practicing, create okay. a sentence for your specific event. The moment when. The moment when I couldn't breathe and I currently feel, well, I felt panicked then, but I currently feel, <sighs> this might take a minute. It's all right. Oh, here's helpless again. Mm -hmm. Let help, maybe not helpless. Um, currently feel powerless. Out of control. Powerless, out of control. Okay. Like, all right. Yeah. All right. So close your eyes, run the movie, and tell me on a scale of zero to 10 how. Out of control, do you or powerless do you currently feel about it? Probably about a seven or an eight. All right. Now, so you'll yeah. want to write that down by your because that's your current, that's your current. Mm -hmm. For now, okay. Now you're going to do some work as this course unfolds, and eventually, that's likely to go down. All right. Okay. So you want, but but tell me, but tell me, um, how do you know it's a seven or eight? Is there a physical sensation that goes with that? It, emo, like it's making me emotional. Um, it's actually heavy in my throat and chest. Okay. You might even want to make notes of that because when you test this a month or two from now, you want to know you want to notice if the heaviness in your throat and chest is still there, for example. You know. Okay, so heavy chest. Where's that heavy chest again? Heavy chest. Um, okay. How's your foot? Painless. All right. Okay. Like I'm, I'm putting all of my pressure on that foot, and I'm going up on the ball of my foot, and uh -huh. there, and that's usually the thing that makes it hurt, and right. there's no pain at all. All there's, right. Now, yeah. a, a distinction I want I want to make, uh, um, and some newcomers don't make this distinction right away, but let me put it up front here. Okay. It seems like the way we put all this together, unseen therapist comes out of the blue and does this magic for you. Okay. The reality is unseen therapist is already within you. She is part of you. It is a healing power within you that you have not accessed well and learned to access yet. I totally, I believe that. Yes. Okay. So you have a lot of power within you that so far as is like with most people buried in there. Okay. We, we need to open some doors, unbury it, that kind of thing. Yes. And that's what you've been experienced with all these pain resolutions you just got earlier and so on. Yes. All right. Yeah. Now let's, um, let's go back to our course material for the moment. Okay. There's the book, personal peace procedure, do your list with the specific events, the sentence. Well, okay, great. Then I asked you to read the article, read this first, how to take this course. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you've read it once, twice, what? Tell me where you are on that. Well, I did read it. Um, 
I can't, I would not honestly be able to tell you um, what was in it because I've continued. I, I read that first and then I continued into the, I'm on number 8A, I think number 8A. And it's been like on my little breaks in between clients at work. Uh -huh. So it, it, I don't know if it's all sunk in yet, but I did, I did, I have read it. Okay. Now, one of the things I've said, I'm going to be emphasizing some things I've said there just because I want to emphasize them. They're, they're important, even though you've read them before. Okay. That article, read this first, how to take this course, is your best friend in this course. Okay. The instructions there are, are precise mm -hmm. and it's very common for newcomers to read that and say, oh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go do this and not keep referring back to it. Okay. Because what you need to do is read the instructions are this. Okay, now go do this. Did I do it right? Let me look back at the answer. Oh, I forgot that. Oh, or I didn't do this quite. I see. Okay, and then you go back. Okay. Do, do it thoroughly. Thoroughly. Thoroughly is the way to get these results. It seems strange, but that's the way to get them fat, get your results faster, deeper, and get your skills better is to do each step thoroughly. That's a very important word. Human nature, me too. I, I, I want to skip right through everything. I want it now and I want it yesterday and you know, don't bother me with the details, okay? <laughs> That's pretty much how I am. I'm always skipping ahead. <laughs> okay. Well, if you do that here, it will cost you in time and results. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So anyway, that's what you want to do. Now, uh, you said you're up to 8A. Now, the, the instructions say, um, that you, at first you read, you just simply read, you don't study, you read in an overview fashion, all 30 of the things. Mm -hmm. So have you read all 30 of them or are you doing that now and you're on 8A? I'm, I'm doing that now and I'm on 8A. Okay, all right, all right. So then after that, um, you'll be instructed to make another list. Okay. All right. Uh, and that list is the same list you've already done with the specific events on it. Okay. Okay. Uh, but done with a sentence and, and all of that. And you will be, you'll be putting on that list things that aren't necessarily specific events. Things like, I get headaches, my neck hurts. Those aren't specific events, those are issues. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And so like the, the ones we dealt with here earlier today, the pains, uh, you would list those down and, and, and currently there are, you know, a seven or an eight or a two or an eight, whatever they are. That's what they are currently. You want to list those down. All right. So you've got a beginning snapshot of where you are. It's a very, that list is very, very important. It is not saying you just, you just write down and skip through. Okay. Important list, zero to tens and all that. Okay. Now, as you go through our immersification processes, that's when you're really getting down into the guts of the course. Right. You'll be going through these 30 lessons again, but this, this time each one in detail, answer the questions, at the, all that, okay? You'll do lesson one. Then you'll go to the first of the um, recorded self-help sessions. It's San, Sandy's the first lady I work with. Okay. Many very serious problems, including pains. Okay. Many very serious issues. All of them have serious issues, by the way. Um, but you'll you'll go you'll do the the first advanced lesson. Then you'll do the first of the seven of Sandy one oh. session. Okay. And it has I, I give thoroughness tips going through that and everything else. And you will immerse yourself into that process. And if you follow instructions well, you'll be able, even though I'm dealing with Sandy with her issues that don't seem to be your issues, they are actually your issues. The details are different. For, for example, uh, eventually you'll find with Sandy, uh, she had an abortion at an early age and has great guilt about it. Now, you may or may not have had an abortion, okay, but you do have guilt. I guarantee it. No, I do. <laughs> oh, I do. Well, everybody does. But see, yeah, so you see, <laughs> yeah. See, so you have you have that issue in common with Sandy. 
Sandy has fears. Sandy has angers and resentments. So do you. The details are different. The core issues are the same. And so you'll be you'll be instructed how to immerse yourself into it with your own issues, even though we're dealing with Sandy. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. Learning to do that, anybody can do it, but it is a skill because it's a little different. You're not, you're not used to doing just that. Okay. <laughs> so, but as you go through that, you will be addressing some of the things on your list specifically. You'll be injecting them into these recorded sessions. Okay. Others you won't other on your list. You won't be putting in. You won't. A month or two later, you look back at your list. And even things you haven't addressed directly will likely fade. It happens mm -hmm. subtly over time. You're not recognizing it as it's happening because it's so subtle, yet powerful. Okay. But you'll go back and you'll say, well, that was an eight, and now it's a, uh, where is it? It's a two. <laughs> What, yeah. what, ha what happened, okay? And see, that, that's important because the subtle nature of this, the things that happen behind the scenes, you won't notice unless you do this. And then, and then when you look back, you'll go, wow, okay? Yes. You may get a few wows between now and then, okay? Mm -hmm. But that one is a big wow. And because uh, I'll tell you what human nature is <laughs> and all this, right? Like, people will come to this and they will get a lot of stuff done you know big stuff and angers and griefs and i mean a whole bunch of stuff and they're better on lots of levels but what human nature does is they tend to focus on what's not done yet oh yeah i got all that other stuff done but my shoulder still hurts this thing isn't working very well you know this whole process i don't know about it and you are we tend to forget about it. we focus on what's not done yet it's very human nature you will do it yes. <laughs> how's your back um, it's good. My foot doesn't hurt at all. My back, which was really tender when I was, and I've been sitting on the edge of my bed, so I haven't even been good posture. There's, it's almost gone. Like maybe. Okay. All right. One, even when I'm pressing on it, it's not as tender. So I'd say about a one. Okay. All right. All right. So far, so so far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, that's the essence of things. Are there, are there other questions you have? Uh, anything else you want to go over? Oh wait, no, no, no. I got us. We have what's called practice groups. Is that a new term to you for us? Um, I saw it in the menu of the yeah. okay. membership. All right. Click on practice groups, and 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 what you will see is a. There'll be a listing there of groups that have, you know, two, three, four members got together and they meet like once a week and they practice on each other's issues. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Very helpful. Love is best when shared. Okay. Um, now, you will see some you can apply to to join. Uh, you may or may not get accepted. You have to tell them who you are, your experience, and what you're doing, blah, 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 all that stuff. And if it's a fit, Great, you're in. If it's not, uh, okay. I hope you deal with rejection because you might get it. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> okay. But the other thing you can do, whether or not you choose one of these other groups, is to start one for yourself. There's a link that you can start it yourself. Okay. And you can put your own rules in. I can't meet except for Tuesdays at six o'clock Eastern time or something like that, whatever it is. Okay. And, and uh, I'm a newbie and I'm working with this, this, and I want to do the, da, 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 da. name your own rules. Okay. You can also say, I only want to work with one other person. I just want to share these with one other person. Let me know. Okay. So you can do that. And you can start linking with other people who are on the same path as you are here. Okay. okay. Oh, that's great. All right. That's so great. I would urge that. 